Hey everybody, it's PJ from Wisconsin Air Gunners, and today it's my pleasure to introduce you to the Sabre Tactical chassis for the FX Dreamline. So when FX developed the Dreamline series of rifles, they picked the name really intentionally. The rifle was meant to be whatever you or I dreamed it to be. Their initial offering was sort of a classic looking rifle, uh, but they had bigger things in mind. And since then they have released several different variants of the Dreamline. There's a variant with a bottle. There's a variant with a tube air cylinder. There is a bullpup. There's a traditional rifle. There's a tactical, there's long barrels, there's short barrels. They've really set it up so that you and I can set up a rifle that fits your or my shooting style. What I'm gonna go through the installation on today is the Sabre Tactical chassis. Um, Sabre Tactical has really uh, brought it with this offering. Um, it's got a ton of adjustability and I think a lot of the features, well, certainly the features that I want, but I think they're features you're gonna to want too. This video is about installing the Dreamline in its base configuration. So if you have the Dreamline Classic, this is the video you wanna watch. I'll also be doing an installation with the power adjuster. So if you had a Classic and added a power adjuster, or if you have a Dreamline Tactical, which has the power adjuster in it, uh, however your gun is set up, this is ready to accept that action into the chassis. So first, let's talk about features. So as far as features go, well, let's start out front. You have a four slot Picatinny rail out front. If you're gonna shoot off a bipod, uh, this takes it out to within a couple inches of the end of the barrel for very stable shooting. It's good placement on that. The machining uh, is really nice. So no problems or questions there. Behind that, you've got a long section of Arca Swiss rail. Uh, if you've got a tripod like I've got here, um, that just fits right in, and you can use this for standing, sitting, kneeling, uh, probably not prone, uh, but there's a lot of good shooting uh, that can be done off, uh, off a tripod like this. You also have a quarter inch standard tripod adapter, so if you did have uh, sort of a standard photo tripod, you could screw that directly in here and, and attach your tripod that way. Moving back, we've got a generous um, trigger guard. Easily fit gloved fingers in there. It's gonna matter to me because I shoot year round. Um, down in Florida, yeah, that might not be as much of a, uh, an issue, uh, but I like the fact that they've got that sculpted out and it's gonna be fine for shooting with gloves. Your safety is gonna ride up here, um, and that's the, the wire safety that the Dreamline Classic has. Um, back here, you see the release for the folding stock. Buttons on the other side. Right here, you've got an AR-15 style grip. This happens to be the FX grip, uh, but any of your FX, or I'm sorry, any of your AR grips will fit in here. The bag rider is removable. If you wanted to shave a little weight, it's not an overly heavy chassis. Um, there is some heft to it. Uh, I will uh, put the exact weight up on the screen. Uh, but this could be removed if you wanted it to. Here and here, this is a nice touch. These are milled out for quick release sling studs. So if you wanna put it on a single point sling, um, you've got left and right a total of four different attachments because it's milled out on either side. So two positions, but times two for either side. At the back, you've got an adjustable cheek piece. This is nice. Um, it has two mechanisms that service the adjustment. You have 
screws on what you're seeing, the camera side. And then on the back side, there's a button. The button's actually for the adjustment. Slide that down and you can move that to uh, one of any number spots. And when you get it where you want it, these guys tighten down and that's for stability. The same is true of the butt pad. You've got slider, push that down, pull it out to where you want it. Then when you're set, screw these down and you're gonna be able to uh, lock that in so there's no movement. The butt pad also slides up and down. You have about an inch and a half of total up and down movement. The channel itself is about four inches, but when you move the whole thing, it, it's not like it goes up four inches and down four inches. It's about a, an inch and a half worth of total movement. Um, the up down here and the in out here is closer to an inch and three quarters. So quite a bit of adjustment. And then, and this is one of my favorite things about not only this, but the butt pad on the impact that Sabre Tactical makes. It's as easy as that to move into one of five positions. So whether you're shooting on the bench or as I sometimes do up in a silo, you can flatten that out. And then when you're shooting freehand or prone, you can adjust this so that you get the right contour for your shoulder, no matter what your shooting situation is. Um, I usually leave it kind of in this number four position, but uh, you know you can put it wherever wherever you want it. And to make this adjustment, all you're doing is pushing against the spring, and then it pops back into place. Really simple in operation, very positive. You know when it's locked in, uh, no problems there. Opening and closing the stock is a simple matter of pushing in on that button, letting it clip into place, and then pushing in the button to get it to release. When the stock is folded, it's held secure by magnets. While we're up here looking top down at the cheek piece, it can be removed and could be replaced if you so desired. Installation of the Dreamline into the chassis is dead simple. Aside from the chassis itself, what you're gonna get in the box are two parts. This is the top block for when you have a power adjuster. If you don't have a power adjuster, set this aside in case you get one. If you don't have a power adjuster, this is the block that you're gonna use. This block goes right in there and then attaches with the longer of the two included screws. In the box is gonna be a little bag with two screws. One is longer than the other. The longer one goes in the back, the shorter one comes up and attaches your Dreamline into the chassis. So, in order to get this going, simple matter of moving the stock. Make sure you take the longer of the two. You're gonna see where it goes in. It's a three millimeter Allen key. And all you have to do is thread that guy in. You don't have to go super snug on that yet, okay? Next, we're gonna drop the rifle, the gun part, the action, air tube. We're gonna drop that into the chassis. Here's our chassis. We're just gonna guide it in. really only one spot under there for it to go.
tighten that in. And that is all there is to it. You have mounted the rifle into the chassis. You can come back then and finish tightening this rear screw. And at that point, this is all set and ready to go. You can do a function check. I know it's unloaded. There's no moderator on it, so it's going to be loud. All set. Couldn't be simpler. Well, everybody, that's it. It's a very straightforward and simple installation. Uh, I, I hope this video was of some value to you. Uh, if it was, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to uh, watching videos by Wisconsin Air Gunners, we hope that uh, you'll maybe hit that subscribe button. And until the next time, shoot safe and shoot straight. We'll see you around.